Mountain. That was Karen Morfitt reporting for us. Now, First Alert Meteorologist Dave Aguilera is back with well, look at all that snow in April. Yeah, <laughs> snow in April. It does happen quite often. And take a look. Still snowing up at the Evergreen Parkway here along I-70 where it's 37 degrees there. And uh, from Lookout Mountain, looks very, very chilly. We still got a lot of snow on the ground. We're starting to see a few of the clouds break up over the city. And there's a look at our downtown camera on top of the library in the city. And you can see just a few little peaks of sunshine trying to break through. John Lamacu, our weather watcher in Congress Park, coming in at 2.8 inches of snow out of this little blast we had over three and a half in Sedalia from Marty Chase and Big Ed Powers up in Marshdale up by Evergreen, five inches of snow where he lives. And it's cold out there, 30 in Golden right now, 38 in Loveland and 32 in Cass Rock. By the way, the mountains uh, really got walloped with this as well. Winter Park had a foot of snow, nine to seven, Copper Mountain, Aspen, A, a Basin and Loveland as well. Some of those will be closing tomorrow and they got a, a good uh, dose of snow to finish out the last day. Take a look at the uh, satellite and radar and what really catches your eye is there's a lot of snow still over the Sangre de Cristos and down here south of La Junta as well. In fact, that little pocket, the southern Sangre de Cristos there just uh, over into Raton Pass, still expecting about four to eight inches of snow above 10,000 feet through midnight tonight. So that's still going on there. Meantime, there's our light snow in the foothills continuing here as moisture is still flowing over the continental divide here. Uh, mostly clear skies have developed though around Fort Morgan out towards the Sterling area and that'll be the trend tonight. Night. Watch as we start to clear out. Uh, probably after about midnight is when we really see that take off. And tomorrow will be mostly clear here in the northeast. A few clouds in the central portion of the state. And then by afternoon, partly cloudy skies do develop here and there. But a, a dry Sunday on the way tomorrow and a little bit warmer too. So tonight, 25 in Fort Collins, 25 in Parker, about 19 up in Evergreen. Highs tomorrow in Evergreen, 48. 57 in Longmont Firestone. Same thing in Parker for the high temperatures. So mostly sunny 57 in town tomorrow. 60 degrees on Monday with a few showers or thunderstorms. And uh, what will be happening at that point is we've got a pretty nice cold front that will be coming through on Tuesday on into Wednesday. First alert weather day possible because we might get a little bit of snow on Tuesday night into Wednesday, but it's going to be a lot of rain. So I think we have several days of rain through Wednesday. 60 on Thursday as we clear it out and next weekend. And right now is looking like temperatures in the 50s by then. Earlier uh, in the week, in fact, yesterday, that Tuesday was looking like it uh, could be a good snow, but I don't think we're going to get quite cold enough to really energize the snow. So it might be a little, little more rain, a little more wetness, a few more April showers. To bring those many flowers. There you go, yeah. <laughs> got it. Thanks, Dave. You got it. Well, still ahead, more than 47,000 people packed Folsom Field for CU's spring game today.